Good morning, Notre Dame, and welcome to this week's NDP Live video announcements. I'm Ava Cabanas. Hey, Saints. I'm Gabe Garcia. I'm excited to anchor with you this week, Ava. I know. We're usually the ones behind the camera producing, but Carlo and Martin were nice enough to let us run the show this week. That's for sure. Now, let's get to the news you need to know for this week. We have an exciting announcement. The homecoming theme is finally here. Check it out. It's 1920s film noir. The dance will be happening Saturday, October 16th from 7 to 9.30 in the NDP gym. Tickets will cost $20. All NDP students and their guests are welcome. Just go to ndpsaints.org forward slash homecoming to get your tickets. I can't wait. Now on to an important reminder. October 13th is National Testing Day for 10th and 11th graders. Freshmen and seniors should arrange to do Christian service that day. Be aware, though, that we will have different schedules for that week. Please check out ndpsaints.org forward slash the dash scoop to get exact details on when each of your classes will be. Saints, are you interested in studying abroad? If so, you should sign up for a special virtual college fair on September 30th. Now, this isn't to be confused with the annual jet tour that NDP hosts. This is something completely different to help provide key insight on 27 international colleges from 10 different countries. To sign up, just go to ndpsaints.org forward slash the dash scoop. Did you know that September is National Deaf Awareness Month? For the last two weeks, Gabe and I have been working hard on a special video that is an interview with NDP's own Mrs. Deanne Bray. She spoke to me about what it's like living without hearing and how she implements her own insight in NDP's American Sign Language class. Good morning, Saints. We're here to introduce you to our new ASL teacher, Mrs. Deanne Bray. She is here to discuss Deaf Awareness Month as well as the new ASL programs that Notre Dame offers. So, Mrs. Bray, have you lived your whole life without hearing? What is it like to navigate through life without being able to hear? Yes, I was born deaf and I come from a hearing family. This question is a little challenging for me to answer because I grew up this way and it's who I am. I never thought of what life is like to not hear. Whether we are deaf hearing or what culture you come from, Mexican, Chinese, French, we all share this world together. I identify myself as a deaf individual and I do not view myself to have a physical disability. We navigate what works for us. What's natural for us might not be natural for you. Tell me about your background in acting. Tell me about that journey in your life. Acting. If you really want to know about what I did, just look in Google. I don't really want to talk too much about acting. For years, I'm more of a scientist and teacher. I've always wanted to be a scientist but I decided to teach. I enjoy what I do. So I was and always am a teacher first. However, I do believe that my journey in acting guided me to learn how to become a better teacher. God was a big part of that journey by how my mind opened up. This started with a TV show I did called Sue Thomas, FBI. This show was inspired by a true story of a Christian woman who reads lips. As a deaf person, she struggled in finding a job. Then one day, the FBI were looking for her to hire deaf people. And she was absolutely thrilled with the opportunity and drove out to Washington, D.C. She got the job with the FBI. And she realized she did not like the job. Now, Sue felt that she had so much to offer. She was very bright. She wanted a transfer of a different position. So she met an FBI agent, and he was impressed with her ability to read lips. Now, keep in mind that not all deaf people do have the skill of reading lips. A handful can, but many do not. It is not a natural, and often communication becomes ineffective. For me, my personal life, I read lips with the hearing aid at times, but without it, I do not. So for Sue, that is her story, which is different from my journey in life. As an actress, I portrayed her character and told some of her story. 
It was a fun experience. My husband would tease me and say, hey, just think of that show to be your bigger classroom. So that is where my journey started as a professional actress. September is Deaf Awareness Month. What do you want to say to those in our community to raise awareness? Yes, September is the month that we celebrate as Deaf Culture Month. The Deaf community is celebrate by promoting Deaf culture awareness. During the last week of September is really when the Deaf world celebrates different sign languages around the world. Did you know that there are more than 300 sign languages in the world? There's Chinese sign language, Japanese sign language, Russian sign language, and LSF. LSF means French sign language. There are so many different languages, even BSL, British sign language. And that is the week we all really celebrate. Plus, you know of United Nations? The UN officially recognized the day of September 23rd and the day is called International of Sign Languages Day. The purpose of this was to raise awareness that there are so there are many documented sign languages. We have come a long way through many events of experiencing oppression, fighting for freedom. That is what I teach. I don't really I don't only teach language when it comes to developing reading skills and production skills in ASL. I include deaf history, teach about the deaf community, deaf culture, and how well-known deaf people from the communities have contributed to improve the world. Notre Dame Prep now has American Sign Language to add to our world language program. Tell us more about what students can expect from taking your classes. Yes, I'm hoping that um, Notre Dame has a goal of how I can support the school in building an ASL program with ASL levels one, two, three, and four honors. I built a strong program at Oak Park High School in California for about eight or nine years. Now I'm here to use the similar model Students obtain information only through their eyes, also to express through their hands, facial expressions, eyes. I'd like to express my gratitude for the staff. I've only worked here for two months now, and already I'm seeing quite a few of my coworkers signing to me. I'm touched and impressed. Uh, let me share some names. Tracy Heisler. One day, I was teaching in the PAC building, and through this big window, I saw Tracy standing in the hallway. She noticed me and signed, Hi, how are you? What a nice surprise to see her sign. She was pretty fluent with that phrase and with the correct facial expression. I checked on my students, and a couple of them smiled and saw what Tracy did. Another one is Mickey. She works in the cafeteria. I learned that she used to want to become an interpreter, but now she's thinking about getting into deaf education to work with deaf children. And I thought that was cool. Now I can go in and order in sign language. How, in how convenient to have access to communicate this way. Bonnie Jean. She works in admin and teaches some honor classes. Very nice person. She also supports all of the new teachers this year. One time, I asked her to repeat what room number, and as she signed 407. She picked up her hand and signed 407. I'm not used to coworkers making efforts like that to connect with me at a deeper level. Thank you, Barney Jean. Madame Bradley, our French teacher, is my mentor this year, and she comes to observe my class. And one time, a student was teaching Madame a few signs after she asked them about them. So nice to have witnessed this. Shannon. He is the theology teacher, also a new teacher here like me. He was in the cafeteria area, and I was walking by the pack building. From the far distance, he greeted 
me by signing, hey, how are you? I sign back, good, how are you? Exchanging greetings like that makes my day. Markel, another theology teacher. I was walking near a parking lot and Markel approached me. And she signed, hello, my name is Markel. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Markel, for being so brave to sign with me. Cecilia, another theology teacher for the seniors. One time we were chatting and at one point I thought she said, yo, and I knew there was a staff named yo. I asked her to double check and she corrected me by fingerspelling, Joe. She picked up her hand and fingerspelled J-O-E, Joe. I was impressed with her fluency when signing. She used it for a purpose so that I could understand. She was not boasting about it, but just did it to connect with me, uh, connect me to a language that is most natural to me. I'm really enjoying my time here at Notre Dame so far. There is hope to connect and develop relationship with even more of you. Come and visit P4. Bye for now. Thank you, Mrs. Bray. We love having you here at Notre Dame. That was a great video project to work on. Thank you, Mrs. Bray, for sharing your story. Now let's turn it over to Chance Griffin and Carter Calvet for our sports highlights. Thanks, Gabe. The Notre Dame prep varsity football team is back in action this week after the bye week for the Holy Bowl rivalry game at Brophy. The game is scheduled for Central High School tomorrow at 7 p.m. Student tickets are $3, and Notre Dame prep students must present their student ID. Gates open at 6 p.m. Tickets are now on sale at NDP's The Scoop. The Notre Dame Prep Girls Swimming and Diving Team posted a 124-52 victory over Mesquite at the McDowell Mountain Ranch Aquatic Center last Thursday. The Saints won 11 events on the afternoon in the victory. Jack Taylor shot a 100 par 35 to win medalist honors and lead the NDP boys golf team to a victory over Saguaro and Higley. The Saints posted a 154 team score to win by 8 over Saguaro, 162, and Higley, 166. The Notre Dame Prep Volleyball team is ranked number two in the first Arizona Republic Super 10 High School Girls Volleyball Rankings. The Saints posted a 3-0 win over Flagstaff last week. The Notre Dame Prep Saints cross-country teams defeated Fountain Hills in the lone home meet of the season. The run to Bemis. Sophomore Evan Grar won the boys' race in 18 minutes and 16 seconds with the NDP with four of the first five runners in scoring 18 points while Ava Handel was the top finisher for the girls in second overall. The Notre Dame Prep Boys Basketball Program will have open gym opportunities September 28th and 30th from 2.50 to 4 p.m. in the gym. It's now time for our favorite segment, Saints of the Week. This week we have seven Saints of the Week. These amazing saints have worked hard in their classes and have earned national recognition for their high academic achievements. First, let's recognize our three College Board National Hispanic Scholars, Sofia Barlow, Alejandro Heredia, and our very own NDP Live, Jacob Weatherall. <laughs> yeah. Four NDP students earned recognition from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. Our National Merit Commended Scholars include NDP Live's own Carla Lanza, Kira Ryan, and Madison White. And Senior Radio Wong has earned the title of National Merit Semifinalist. Radio will move on to the nationwide competition with the chance to be named a finalist or even a National Merit Scholar. Congratulations, Radio. So to be a National Merit Scholar is to be recognized by College Board and colleges across the nation um, based off of how you do on the PSAT you take your junior year. Um, so it just kind of shows like your possible capabilities for succeeding in like the next chapter of your life. To become a National Merit Scholar you'd have to take the PSAT so you'd really have to study so you can make the cutoff score for the Arizona State. Yeah, I think I speak for all of us when I say it means a lot. You know, we, we work hard to get these scores and we study hard. And to finally get recognized for it, you know, on, on such a big scale, on a national scale, I think means a lot. And, you know, there's not that many people that get this um, recognition. So I think we're going to really enjoy it and try to use it to see if we can get scholarships for, for college. 
To me, the recognition is a great honor that your hard work has been acknowledged. It, it's just nice to have this sort of like recognition just for all the hard work that you know that we've all put in, um, put in school. It's you know something on like a much bigger scale than just like a school or family, you know, something like that. It's like actually this nationwide organization that's you know saying, hey, you know, you did a good job. You know, here's you know some recognition for that. It's great to be nationally recognized for the hard work that I've put in over the years, especially uh, leading up to this test. Uh, it's on such a bigger scale than like a school-wide test. It's a national like recognition, so it's really important for college and whatnot. So it's great to be recognized for that. Good job to all of you, and best of luck to you, Radio. Way to represent the Saints. And go Jacob and Carlo. That's for sure. We want to thank Black Rock Coffee at Thompson Peak and Bell for being NDP Live video announcement sponsor. All right, Saints. That's all the news we have for you this week. Thanks for watching.